Hi everyone. Every day more than 3,700 persons die in car accidents. Let's dive in and study and research the metal strains used in cars. For example, in this car, it's a Volvo, we got it from Volvo website. We can see that there's ultra high strain steel, extra high strain steel, very high strain steel, high strain steel, mid strains, aluminium, magnesium. And we can see that the, the cabinet where people are in the car, it's well protected with higher steel, but even Volvo, which is the highest end of protection, in 2010 in this car design, it left the bag vulnerable in case it got hit from the back and if it got bit from the edges also it's vulnerable and here it looked like it's pretty strong but they didn't use the ultra extra high steel even in the front so the metal is measured by MPA ultimate tension strengths by stretching it and pressuring it till it breaks and we can see that the advanced high strain steel is pretty strong. It can, it can hold for 2000. The second generation is pretty, like here is higher, but here is less. It can hold for 1800. And the third generation is fluctuating between this and this. So advanced high strain steel, the first generation from this chart an ultimate tension of strange, it, uh, strange, it looks the strongest. Here in this example, Chevrolet Malibu, we can notice that the high strength steel is in the front, edges, and the back. But this design left this car vulnerable in case if it fell and collapsed and end up on its head. So here, they are advanced high strength steel, but it's not strong like the high strength steel. All manufacturer and designer agree, engineers of cars if you want to name them, that the passenger section is the precious cargo inside of it, which is humans, and we need to protect them. But when it comes to profit, you need to be savvy with metal to boost the profit and to minimize the protection of the precious cargo inside, inside the car, which are the people who are buying the car. In this design, we can notice that the under of the car, it's 590 MPA, 1800 MPA is the frame of the cabinet where the pressure cargo inside of it, but in the same time, they are attached to a weaker metal. And that's why when a car hit us from the front or from the back, you see the metal bending super fat and stop here, because it's on purpose, the designers are saving money by putting cheap metal or some of them justify it by saying it needs to suck the pressure of the accident. Volvo are the best when it comes to safety. And we can see here that Volvo is using ultra high strain steel to protect the cargo inside the car but hopefully they were very high strain steel here but the ultra high is better than the very high and it makes me question why they didn't put it all in red to protect it super good how the rally driver do their car they put ultra high strain steel all around them in the cabinet and that's why the rally driver when he end up in a car accident they can survive it but not the normal people and normal cars on the roads and that's why the 3700 person who die every day is from cheap metal used in cars here another example we see that the metal on this side is ultra high to prevent in case the car got an accident from here and high strain steel front back so we can't predict where the accident might come so that's why it's a better approach and the legislator everywhere on earth especially where are the manufacturer of this car need to force them to use the strongest and the highest quality metal all around the cabinet where the pressure cargo is inside the car here in this design the designer play it the cheapest as possible and he put ultra high strain steel just in the middle to protect from an accident 
than a high strain steel just to boost profit according to the guidance the company will give him and thousands of people die every day because of this cheap metal in cars. Again, the legislator need to force by law the manufacturer of cars to make the cars the strongest possible. Thanks for watching our video and stay safe on the road when you drive because the cars as we saw in this video in our explanation they are built cheap and they are not built to the strongest quality of metal and that's why what you can control is the speed you drive it drive safe, drive slow, the speed limit or a little bit higher but don't fly and stay safe until next time